Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about arterial thromboembolisms and in 80 to 85 percent of cases the initial cause is within the heart so we have mural thrombi in the left atrium or ventricle uh, or vegetations on the mitral or aortic valve or in the case of a prosthetic heart valve or it can be some other cause of myo cardiomyopathy. Uh, we can also have an arterial thrombo thromboembolism due to some kind of cause within the arteries. So the emboli can develop in relation to an atherosclerotic plaque, um, aortic aneurysm, it could develop on pulmonary veins, and paradoxical arterial emboli from the systemic venous circulation. So the effect of the arterial emboli depend on the size, the site of the dislodgement and the adequacy of collateral uh, circulation. So if vascular occlusion occurs, we have the following effects. So we can either have an infarction of an organ or its affected part. So an example is ischemic necrosis in the kidney or the brain. Uh, the next step following on from this is gangrene, which follows infarction. An example is in the lower limbs, if collateral circulation isn't enough to compensate. The next step following on from this can be arteritis and mycotic aneurysm, and this can be the formation of bac bacterial endocarditis. Uh, we can also develop a myocardial infarction, and this may occur following a coronary embolism. And then we can also have sudden death, and this can happen from either the coronary embolism or embolism in uh, the middle cerebral artery.